What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Peacock's new series, Wolf Like Me. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Peacock Streaming Service for granting me the screeners to this entire new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler-free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Oh, oh my god, I'm dying to blurt out everything there is to know about this show, but I can't since I'm sworn to secrecy. Eesh. So I have to walk on eggshells while at the same time telling you that I freaking enjoy Wolf Like Me. It's hilarious, it's somewhat scary, and it's definitely romantic. I know, quite the cocktail, isn't it? Now, a bit of context. The mastermind behind Wolf Like Me is Abe Forsyth, the same guy who gave us one of the funniest movies ever, Little Monsters. If you haven't watched that, you are missing out. Wolf Like Me is not as chaotic as Little Monsters, there are no zombies running around here, but the big twist is equally fearsome in a classically awestruck kind of a way if that makes any sense at all created directed and executive produced by a forsyth in wolf like me everyone brings their own set of baggage to a new relationship gary and mary are no different gary is an emotional wreck and struggles to provide for his daughter since the death of his wife mary has a secret she can't bring herself to share with anyone the universe brought these two together for a reason they just need to keep following the signs. Starring Josh Gad and Isla Fisher. Abe Forsyth, who is an Australian, sets this story in Australia. And that is part of the appeal of Wolf Like Me. The aesthetics of the suburban neighborhood that looks like it could be anywhere, but the show keeps reminding you that it's down under. I like it though. It's a nice change of scenery. Not everything has to be American base. It definitely adds to the flavor of the comedy when Josh Gad is surrounded by people whose accents don't sound the way his does. But it it also speaks to his character, the single dad Gary, who makes a life over there with his young daughter Emma. Gary is a textbook nice guy who doesn't always know what he's doing, but his heart is in the right place. Josh is fantastic in this role, just effortless. He seems to bring a lot of his own charms into it as well. Some of the moments that crack me up involve Josh panicking or in utter shock, but there's a certain warmth and personable quality to his performance. Along comes Mary, played by Isla Fisher, who, let's just say, there's more to her than meets the eye. Mary is not lost, but she's rudderless. This secret she carries forces her to constantly fly under the radar. That is, until her fate collides with Gary's. I love how Isla Fisher doesn't try too hard to make you laugh. Her scaredy cat performance pretty much does the trick, and she is just all around radiant. And look out for young talented actress Ariel Joy Donahue who plays Gary's daughter Emma. She is fiery and feisty. She's like a hard shell that's tough to crack. Okay, here's what you need to understand about Wolf Like Me. It's a little bit of drama. It's a little bit of comedy. It's a little bit of horror, but what Abe Forsyth is ultimately trying to convey here is the heartwarming theme of allowing yourself a second chance at love and accepting each other just the way we are, complete with all our imperfection. Not all of the episodes on this show are frightening or bizarre. Some of them are just chill and dialogue driven, and the comedy can sometimes be quite subtle. It could be just Gary and Mary debating how they're gonna make their relationship work if possible at all, and Josh and Isla bounce off of one another really well. So, with Wolf Like Me, Abe Forsyth further establishes himself as a competent storyteller with a wild sense of humor and an active imagination. This is definitely one of the most entertaining new shows I've seen in recent years.